Hello, everybody. It's October 20th, 2011, on a Thursday. This is News and Views from the Nefarium Part 2. And uh, the reason it's a, it's a Part 2 is I finally saw, inadvertently, I wasn't looking for it on television, the video clips of the former Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi quite literally being... Uh, mobbed, and apparently, from what we're being told now, executed summarily. And I find this very disturbing at a multitude of levels. Indeed, I don't really have proper words to express what I'm feeling, because brutal and murderous as this man was, watching him being mobbed and beaten and so on, <clears throat> And then thinking to myself, why even are we being shown this video? And I'm, as most of you know, I'm against any form of summary justice. I think everyone has a day in court, no matter who they are. And I find myself with heavily and highly ambivalent feelings. I think we're walking down a dangerous path when over and over repeatedly in the last few years as we watch these events unfold where we are literally watching people being slaughtered on television. It strikes me that we're kind of entering the period of, of bloodlust of the ancient Roman Empire with its gladiatorial to the death contests and so on. In short, I think we are being brutalized in a certain sense by the media. And it wouldn't surprise me if this were intentional to accustom us to directing the rages that we are being told that we must feel towards certain people or even certain groups of people by a media in the form of a social engineering. I don't approve, certainly, of the Qaddafi regime or what it did. But by the same token, I think we are treading a very dangerous path when we start applauding as I, as I myself did, because uh, I didn't know that these videos were out when I recorded my news and views from the Nefarium. They hadn't yet been shown where I am. And now they have. And uh, I think we need to be very, very careful about this. Uh, I'd be interested to see how many of you think or feel the same way, or if you don't, and why. Because... Uh, Again, as I say and said in the first uh, part of this interview and on previous blogs, uh, there is something very, very malodorous about what we see happening in Libya because, after all, as I've mentioned many times, Gaddafi was making overtures to China. There was a great deal of Chinese influence in Libya. Gaddafi was uh, certainly not going to play along with uh, the central bankers of the West and so on and so forth. But uh, this latest episode is a bit of brutalization. And I think not just of Gaddafi, but more specifically of... And it's quite understandable the rage that the Libyan people felt toward him. But uh, putting this brutality on the media for everyone to see along with the brutality that we've been witnessing in Syria. I think uh, we have to be... I, f I found myself unable to watch the whole video, so I turned it off. Uh, and I think maybe they're trying to send messages, perhaps, as well, to Assad in Syria. But, uh, again, I, I just have a great deal of difficulty with, with summary justice. But I'd be interested in, in finding out if any of you out there are reacting to this like I am, or if not, why?
because uh, I think we're I think we're looking at a very disturbing social phenomenon that's emerging. We've we've seen these types of videos ever since this so-called war on terror began, with the uh, murder of Daniel Pearl and all of the other people. So I'd be interested in hearing what you have to th say about this. Um, and I might be back again, as I said, with more uh, news and views from the Nefarium. I do have one announcement that just came up, and this is the other second reason why I'm doing a second part of news and views this week. And that is I have been invited to speak at a conference in Los Angeles, November 12th and 13th, on alchemy. And uh, I'll be posting a notice when I know more details, but I have accepted that invitation. Uh, I will be speaking twice for an hour each time uh, on the subject of alchemy, and I'll have a, a booth where I will be selling some of my books, autographing them if, if people want. So I'll keep people posted on the news about that conference as well, and uh, hope to see some of you there. Uh, the conference will be attended, as far as I have been made aware right now, will be attended by uh, George Norrie of Coast to Coast AM and some other uh, celebrities. So I count myself fortunate uh, to be in a venue and at an event where there are so many famous people. So anyway, that's it for part two of News and Views, and I'll see you on the flip side, and God bless everybody.